Uh, good evening. Welcome to the July 11th meeting of the Dams Constitution. We operate under Mass General Law, Chapter 131, Section 40, and the Wetlands Protection Act, Chapter 26 of the Town of Danvers Bylaw, Wetlands Protection Bylaw. So, um, basically, we'll call through the agenda. Uh, the applicant will uh, present their project. Uh, the board will have time to ask questions. Uh, we'll open it up if there's anyone in the audience. Uh, uh, that wishes to uh, be heard, uh, we'll do that. Uh, and having said that, I just ask that you be respectful of each other if you have disagreement. And the first thing we'll do is call to order. I'll start on my left with Vanessa. Vanessa Karn. Peter Wilson. Michael Splain. Richard Souza. Chelsea Kang. Yeah. David Fields. Sorry. All right. All right. Uh, the uh, first matter is a request for determination of applicability, 51 Massachusetts Ave. And there's no DP number because uh, it's an odd. 2019-01. It's, it's, All right, that is the number? Okay. Number 2019-01. So is that an actual DEP number? Or? Oh, all right, fine. All right, and uh, the applicant is Laura and Darren King, and uh, it's a public hearing for request for determination of applicability for the installation of an in-ground pool with associated pool apron, pool filter, and new electric service to the filter. So the, ap the applicant is asking us to make a determination whether our, our bylaw, whether the, the bylaw applies or not in this case. So who's here for the applicant? Yeah. All right, you want to stand up and just tell us what you've got? Sure. So we're just looking to, um, we have we have an un, above ground pool. Yes. We're looking to replace that, um, put it a little farther away from the brook, make it the opposite direction, and um, install an in-ground. All right. And what can you tell me about the in-ground? How many gallon? 16 by 32, um, six, um, it starts off at 3 feet deep and goes to 60 minutes it, a month. I'm not does. sure exactly how many gallons. Yeah. Is. And uh, so this is? It's completely rectangle. It's um, kind of oval shape. It's out, of, it's, out of our, it's out of our no build, no disturb area? Yes. Correct? Yes. And the closest is 66 feet to the brook. To the, the brook. And we're in a 200? Yeah. Uh, they're in the 100 foot. 100. Yeah. Yeah, they're in the 100. They're in the 100, but we have a 200 here. Right. Yeah. Yeah, because of the brook. Yeah. Was the uh, in-ground pool in the same spot? It was above ground, yes. The above actually, ground? It was actually closer. It was closer? Yes. And that's been removed? Yes. There's a picture um, in the package that you should have. That's a, the sandy area? The sand area, that's where the old pool was. Uh-huh. And the bottom one, if you look at the uh, the there, it's going to go right in front of that. Yeah, yeah, can I take a look at that? Yeah, I don't know if I'm missing it or I, I'm just not the at it. The brook is off to the left. The brook sits yeah. behind the shed. So, like behind that line of trees and stuff? Yes. Okay. Yep. Yep. And it, it, as far as like draining the pool and everything, do you have a plan for that? It's going to be discharged out to the front of the yard. To the front of the yard. Correct. Yep. All right. And when do you plan to do this? As soon as we get approval. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Uh, I'm going to open up for questions. I don't have Vanessa, any anything? Uh, no. Not at this time. No, Peter? No? Nope. I'm, I'm okay. Right. Uh, the only Rich, thing, anything? You said a 16 by 32. The plan's 18 by 36. Right. Yeah, that was the, that's a typo. Okay. On, on the plan? Yeah, on the plan, it is. Typo. It's not 36, it's other 36. Mm -hmm. It's 18 by 32, just to clarify. Oh, okay, so 18 by 32. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Will they have to resubmit a plan, or is that fine? We can should clarify that right now. Yeah. It's smaller, so mm -hmm. it's better. Yeah. <laughs> no. So in that case, will we have them put in another plan and just make the change on the? I think we can just make the change yeah. tonight. Yeah, I think I'll make it right on my copy. Yeah. Yeah. And you're sure it's 18 by 32? Yes. How do you know this? I purchased it. All right. <laughs> well, you know what you I bought. I probably have it in my phone if you want to say. No, I believe you. No. Yep. All right. Well, I bought it. All right. Um, be uh, what do you? Concrete apron. Around so it's three feet concrete all the way around the pool. Yes. Okay. And what the about patio? Same thing. Yeah, uh, the, the patio is going to be bigger. Probably. Has it. So what do you put in there? Um, 
Um, so it goes like this. The brook is down here. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the patio is right over to the side. Mm -hmm. I think we talked about 18, the length of the pool, and then 14 feet. Mm -hmm. it's, not, it's not too big. 14 feet wide. Do you think that's any kind of significant runoff concern, or since it's impervious, or no? That's all flat there. Right. It's really flat. Yeah. yeah. What about uh, when you when you're doing the construction? Uh, how you, you keep the soil and with stuff the, um, uh, mulch intact? Uh, mulch. Um, with, with mulch you know? stock. Mulch yeah. stock. Is you are. It's yep. only a small stock. It's all the way around the construction area. How long should the project take? Less than a week. Less than it's, a week. It's actually, so just to so you guys, it's, it's actually an above ground pool that goes in the ground. So there's not like no rebar in the ground or anything like that. I mean, the, it completely goes into the ground? Yeah, it completely oh. goes in the ground. It's something different. Like, oh. I didn't know about it. It's, it's called a radiant pool. Kinda. It's kind of like that one, but it's actually called a radiant pool. Oh. What's it made out of? It's. Uh, I'm just curious. It's I've never heard of it. I've heard so that. It's insulated. Uh, walls, which is kind of the obviously that's the advantage to it. Um, let me look it up. Is it all one piece? Would be lowered by a crane? No. So what no. they no. no. All they do is they set these panels up, and then there is a concrete layer that goes around the bottom oh. of the of the panels. But that's it. So there's no rebar in the middle or anything like that. It's it's kind of neat. Poured concrete. They're gonna pour concrete. In. Yeah. Hmm. So. And and. What are those sidewalls made out of? She's looking that up now. Yeah, I just care, but they're not concrete. No, no, no. no. But there's no concern with them puncturing or anything. No, about? because um, after the walls, there's a liner that actually goes into the, into it as well, a vinyl yeah. liner. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That sits into it as well. Mm. So it does say it's environmentally smart. Um, those insulated wall panels that make it the only pole in the market that's truly energy efficient and environmentally friendly. Yeah, well, it's material. Uh, Expanded polystyrene. I don't know if I'm saying that. I know what that is. Insulation mm -hmm. and aluminum. Yeah, that's which a are both 100% recyclable. No. Cool. Uh, any further questions? No, I mean, how long do you plan on having the stockpile on site? Probably oh, a month. A month? Right. What are you going to do with the the dirt that they excavated? It's, going to, out. it's yeah. going to be removed as it's dug on the day it's... Well, it's not, probably not the day that it's dug. Um, it's going to be stockpiled as they enter the gate from the right, you should call it the right-hand side of the house. Yeah. Um, he had a proposal on the plan that has a stockpile. It's to the south on the plan. It's all within the erosion control Correct. envelope? Yeah. 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 Are you covering it? I can if necessary. I would cover it, I would just cover in case it, it rains. Yeah. No. Yeah. No. Yeah. No. That's no problem. All right. Like I said, the pool's not deep. The maximum is 60 feet. Yeah. Well, that's good. Yeah. Decent size. Yeah. I mean, I'm hoping we can get get rid of it by the week, within two weeks. Does that pool have its own fence? Yeah. No, the property is completely The property's fence. Yeah. Any, anything else? Anything else? Um, so being asked to find that, uh, make a finding of non-applicability, does someone want to make a motion? Of no applicability? Yeah, of no. Sure. Yeah. Um, I make a motion uh, to determine non-applicability for DP number 2019051, Massachusetts Ave. And, and even though we find it not applicable, we're still allowed to put some conditions. And I know like Chelsea the wanted the, the yeah. covered. So, yep. so just... Um, covered stockpile and as well as just note that the plan uh, should state 18 by 32. 32. Okay. And That's the motion. Motion's been made. Erosion control. And erosion and control. Yeah. What's oh yeah, the, the uh, sock. The, 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 the most socks, yeah. yes. Yep, that's, that's as noted. You have it, as noted. All right, motion to made. Do we have a second? Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 All right, good luck, folks. Sorry. Yep. What does that mean now, sorry? <laughs> well, that means you, uh, can we go ahead, or is there like you a You can go ahead. Do we give or? them? Do we give them something? We will issue you a negative. Issue a negative determination yeah. of applicability, yeah. right? Okay. So we can just go ahead, like we can that'd go be, in and finish the permit process. Us. Yeah, you'll still have to get a building permit, yeah. obviously. But oh, yeah. Perfect. yeah. Excellent. Are we gonna wait? That'll be mailed. And when will you? Will, will they come in and get that? It'll be mailed to them, Alicia. I can mail it. I can certify mail it, or I can have. You want to come in? Why don't you come in and get it? Yeah. yeah. When should I? I'll call you. Yeah. There you go. Awesome.
Do you want to keep my copy? Yeah, I'll give it back to you. <laughs> Just in case. Oh. Yeah. Good luck. Thank you so much. Say hi to there. Have I will. Thank you. <laughs> you used to coach him a little. Yeah, a couple times. <laughs> He's a character. Uh, all right, uh, the next matter, uh, B, is a uh, notice of intent, public hearing for Massachusetts Ave, Frost, Frost Fish Brook, DEP file number 14-1329. The applicant is the town of Danvers, and this is a public hearing for a notice of intent for the stabilizing of failed embankments along a 2,500-foot section of Frost Fish Brook between Mass Ave and Cabot Street and a 1,950-foot section of the Frost Fish Brook north of the high school. And uh, who's here for the applicant? Good evening, Commissioner. Uh, Steve King, town engineer for the town of Danvers. Hello, Steve. Hello. <laughs> um, also with me tonight is Kevin Garvey, project manager from CDM Smith. That's been working on the project as well. And Magdalena Lofsted, uh, wetland scientist with CDM Smith. All right. You want to give an overview of? I I think I'll kind of give them a brief overview, some history. Right. I know there's some new people on the commission who weren't part of the first project, so right. get them caught up as quickly as I can. <laughs> uh, so a brief history, uh, CDM Smith uh, provided Danvers a stormwater capital plan, which included improvements to several of the brooks in town. Um, most prominent one was Frostfish Brook, uh, was cited as a priority due to significant bank erosion, uh, sediment deposits, and restricted flows, because uh, the previous developer, the Woodville, Woodville, Woodville subdivision, um, had created kind of artificial turns in the bank that weren't, weren't originally there. Um, all these issues, though, which I previously described, were potentially going to affect a lot of the abutting homeowners, um, their, large, their yards about directly up to the bank. Um, when they had the sink bank and erosion, some of the porches or decks uh, were definitely impacted if we didn't come in and put in some type of uh, earth retention system, whether it be armor stone, um, further grading, or actually um, remove some dead brush or debris that was near their yard. So that project was done over 50 years ago, bro. The Campanelli project? Yeah, so the yeah. Campanelli division started, I think, roughly 1935 and went on to around 1960. Yeah. Um, yeah, the so, last of it. Yeah. But um, uh, are the neighbors contributing to that erosion, or is it just happening naturally? Uh, naturally yeah. is, a, is a kind of a definitive word to use for it. I would say it's artificially happening uh, because of the way he constructed the brook or changed the brook's path that now when you have higher velocities and bigger rainstorms now that it's, it's cutting into certain brooks on the 90 degree turns that come from Sherwood Ave or Massachusetts Ave along the, the Coolidge um, instead of the, the path being naturally straight it, it takes sharp turns and that digs into the bank and leaves deposits. Yeah. And you can't realign these uh, or, or uh, they're going to keep the, they're going to stay. We have, at, at this point now, we have to keep the brook in, in its current position right. and only try and stabilize the bank so it, it doesn't happen any further. And is it funding for that? Is that federal? There funding? is funding, yes. Yeah. We've had, we still have a previous warrant article um, with some appropriation left over, and we were just approved for another $1.35 million in this past year's warrant article. So That's great. We do have the funding for it. Yeah. Um, I just spoke about the first phase that we just completed in 2016. Uh, that was from Mass Ave to Coolidge to Brookville. Um, we actually just completed our final closeout with the Mass DEP. They approved of the project. Um, They're happy with the improvements that we made, um, even some slight changes, and we should be seeing that documentation coming from them. Um, and the shortly. process is the same? What you did then, is uh, you're doing the same? Has anything uh, changed? Yes, it's, uh, we've added a few more hybrid type techniques um, based on our site walk with Mass DEP this time. Uh, Last time when we filed in 2007, we really didn't have that pre-site walk with the DEP, and, and that's why they had issued the superseding order conditions on the first phase. Um, so this time, we were hoping that we didn't have to go through the same process, kind of expedite a little bit faster. We brought DEP out with us several times to go over the improvements we intended to make. They made suggestions. Um, we implemented some of those suggestions and ideas that they had. We also came up with some of our own that they approved. And I think they've yeah. seen the comment. They've made comments to them. They've seen the plans and notice of intent, and we believe they're in approval with everything we plan to do. Yeah. So the last project, they issued a superseding auto. What was the most significant uh, suggestions or changes? That uh, the, the biggest one, we, we had almost the Brook 90% hardscape with Armorstone. 
and they didn't. Uh, they didn't like that. <laughs> they didn't like that. <laughs> <laughs> so you basically decide where it's needed most. And yeah. So what we did, we took the the large one to one slopes uh, on the bank. We armored that to protect it from erosion. And some of the other spots, we did simple toe stones and uh, soft techniques as to create like higher banks for. Will vegetation, vegetation hold those yep. as well? Correct. Yep. Some of the deep over here, just want to see them too. There's also plan sheet 12 in the packet. But so basically the, the original phase one project had a whole lot of full bank rock stabilization from toe bank to the top and then existing trees behind it. And then we kind of added this new detail as part of phase one to um, get along with Mass DEP. And it kind of had just a strong toe stone at the bottom to stop the erosion, and then coil. What'd you call a strong what? To, um, to, uh, toe stone yep. to stop erosion at the bottom. Yeah. And then um, coil logs and fine things above that. And then additionally, in this time, there was one spot specifically where the stream bank was extremely kind of blown out, where it was very wide, and so we added this new detail for a planted shelf where again there's a toe stone to protect from erosion, and it kind of then has a little bit of um, a flood plain to it. And then stones behind it and plantings in the middle to keep the soil there from erosion. So it gets too wide. Yeah. So you kind of want to keep the the brook and the same about it's typically 12 to 15 feet for most of the project. Mm -hmm. And as, as it gets wider, the flow slows down and sediment falls out, and then it becomes different problems instead of just erosion. It's kind of building up sediment there, and then you have little dams created. Is the brook mainly open? Is it mainly an open brook? Yes. Yeah. It is. Yep. Two yeah. or three culverts. Yes. Yeah, so, well, there's several culverts that go along the uh, because of the change in direction of the of the, the brook that were implemented. Um, several at Coolidge, several on Mass Ave. Uh, one of at Dartmouth. You have the large one underneath the field uh, at the high school at Cabot Road. Um, so there are several that are up there. And what Kevin just kind of spoke to as far as the erosion, we wanted to make sure that um, we're also creating a nice stream like a stream depth in there as well to create more aeration pockets for any natural fisheries fisheries or, or live or live animals or um, that may go up and travel tra traverse the stream as well in the brook. So when that when that brook starts getting wider you start losing your depth in the stream and kind of dry pockets. So it doesn't really um, assist yeah, function. Any, function as a way it's supposed to, yes. So there'll be some I guess minor dredging We'll call yeah, there will be some sediment removal. Spots. Yep, correct. Where it's where it's heavily collected in some of the pockets. Yeah. And where's that material going to go? I'll remove that offsite. So that will have to be tested and then moved offsite to proper facility. Hmm. Any contaminants from the past? No, on the on the previous phase we didn't find anything, so we were able to off haul it to us. I was going to ask that. Too. <laughs> contaminants. Yeah. How are you going to be accessing this? Is, do you have to go on each property owner's? property or how do you access all of these areas? So there's several ways. We have uh, a few easements that were laid out as part of the subdivision, a couple 20 foot, one 40 foot that we can access the brook from. And we can also access them from the actual cobalt areas where we have, we have chain link fences with gates, swing gates that we can walk the machines down into the brook. What's the condition on the culverts? Is, if I recall, when I was first on, there was some project about run, running cameras in so you could look. We're actually uh, looking at uh, evaluating the Cabot Road culverts um, this summer with doing some camera inspection work. Yeah. Uh, the only other culvert that we've seen we've actually physically walked through and, you know, um, it's holding up, it's fine for now, but at some point we will be coming back to uh, to replace it. Is that part of this project or is no, that No, this is strictly just stream bank. I see. Uh, it doesn't have to do anything with culverts. Yeah. It's more just like roots growing and cracking. Oh, yeah, for the condition. Yeah, you, know, you have on the toe with, with large trees that we're going to be moving as well that you know, don't have any, anything solid in the ground to uh, protect them from falling over. Yeah. And then any dead brush that's fallen over from past storms, we're removing all of that material as well. Yeah. Well, the first phase came out nice. Yeah, yeah. Um, anybody have any further questions? So this the second phase. Is this the final phase or will there be another phase this is, several years down the road? This is... This is not the final phase. Um, I think hopefully our plan, if it works out with funding, is to keep going each year until we um, eventually can evaluate everything up to Wenham Street. Um, so you're moving upstream? Yep. yep. Continuing upstream in each phase. As long as there's funding. Correct. 
<laughs> What's the source of the funding? The state? Uh, no, I mean, this is uh, borrowing. So it's town funded? Town funded, correct. Where are you going to procure all the riprap? Is that, will that go on the bid? Whoever? That will be on the bid, yes. So there are, we had a few contractors um, kind of walk through the site and give us some ideas and, of what we can do, and there's plenty of yards that have large grant blocks that size that will, that will fit for that brook. Cool. What's, what's the process of the stabilization? stabilization? What do you put on the banks? Uh, so we'll kind of excavate, excavate out the bank a little bit. We'll put in Marafi paper or textile fabric. Uh, we'll use a little three-quarter inch stone to stabilize that fabric, and then we'll start implementing the large toe stones. So they'll actually, typically average height, they're usually four feet tall, so we'll, we'll embed they're, them they're probably a foot and a half yeah, yeah. Into, the, uh, into the bottom of the bank for foundation, and you'll see about three feet of it sticking up. Do you use equipment for that? Have, like yeah, yeah, we have to use excavators to, put, to place those stones. Yeah. They're very, very large. Yeah, that's more six tons a piece, something like that. Really? Yeah, yeah, three or four tons at a minimum. Wow. Yeah, right, so those are big, big machines. So would you go be going into people's yards with that equipment? Uh, the, the last phase, we didn't have to. We were able to avoid it by our, our entrances um, yeah. along the culverts. We may have to access one or two yards. Yeah. Um, but we'll obviously notify those homeowners. And then you would restore yeah, any restore lawn you tear yeah, any up. Fences or yeah, fences or fences you want to see that, that we need to do. Is that by easement or do you have to get the homeowner's approval? It's, we, would, we would go through the easement, um, absolutely, but we would still want to make sure the homeowner is yeah, aware of what we're so. doing and mm -hmm. just make sure that. No surprise. No surprises. Yeah, we just start <laughs> trekking through the yard. Yeah. yeah. Good thing they've already seen it yeah. this time around. Yeah, yeah so they've there. seen it. And, and, and they probably welcome it, don't they? Yeah, we, we, we uh, had a couple sidewalks actually in the brook, and as we were walking through people's, um, through the brook, and people saw us in the, from their backyards, they asked what we were doing. We told them we were working on the next phase of the brook um, embankment stabilization, and they were happy that we were coming by their, really their property. Yeah. So it was good to hear that, that they, were, they saw what we did in the first phase, and they wanted to make sure it kept going. Right. I, I'm going to ask this, but will this impact a, a rodent population or anything like that? Don't know off the top of my head. No. I, didn't, I didn't hear any uptick of any rodent uh, no. traffic. With well, the, the digging phase. and such, no. No. Okay. What is and the these? timing on this project? Uh, we hope to have this out to bid or advertise within the month of August and then construct it during the winter. We are restricted by the, the time of year we can do the work, so we're hoping to do it um, pretty much until spring, mid-March. Uh, then we have to wait until the, uh, I guess it would be the nesting season for a lot of the the animals in the area and then mm. be yeah. able to pick it back up once. So nothing this time. year? Maybe this winter. Maybe? If, if we're aggressive, we can expedite everything, we'll get in there yeah. this winter. Oh. And complete it this winter? No. That, that'd be tough, yeah. Mm. Not, not, not this winter. Yeah. The, um, anything else? Um, anything? Vanessa, you? Um, so what, what are you putting in for plantings? Is there a list of what you're using? There is a list um, of plans. I think the last page of this, of the doc, so P13, has a general list of the uh, plans we used the last round. Okay. Um, the last project, we had a landscape architect walk with Mass DEP and specifically pick different plantings depending on the location and, and discuss is this the best planting for this spot or not. Okay, so DEP weighed in on this? Yes. Okay. On the last project, this this list they it they've came seen from. it too, but they didn't specifically pick them for this project. The stuff okay. you planted last time worked out. Yeah, I think um, there's what, six locations that we planted, and five of them came through great. There's one where we went to do it, and it was already invasive species there, and it was kind of known this that would be the one trouble spot, and that one didn't come through as well. But the other five came through very well. There we go. Yeah. Is this all native planning? Yes. It is. Yeah. Well, there's, uh, if there's no, no other questions, uh, I don't see anyone in the audience. Yeah, I just want to make anything one, you want to add. Just one other comment: We did have one resident, uh, kind of outside of our, our limit of work, uh, just request if we could through the contract uh, take down some dead trees that potentially could fall on the brook just on the other side of Dartmouth Street, the Dartmouth Street upstream culvert. Um, we went and took a look at this site walk today with the resident, um, told him that we think that shouldn't be an issue. We may issue a, a new drawing just to encompass that that area. We have already surveyed, so we probably wouldn't 
at it. We don't think DEP would have any issues with it because we're not we're yeah. just removing dead brush. So I get the trees. It. So okay, that's the only comment I have. Mm -hmm. Does someone want to make a, a motion for an order of conditions on this project? I'll make a motion to um, issue an order order of conditions for um, the bank stabilization for frost fish book frost that's hard to say yeah. frost <laughs> fish <laughs> Brook. Right, DEP file number one four dash one three two nine. All right, and any uh, special conditions, staff? Uh, any special conditions? No special conditions um, from staff. No. Any, in accordance with the DEP, you know, whatever they requested, required. Hmm. Other than that, all right. Special. So, motions were made. Do we have a second? Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Thank you. Good luck. Hope you get started this year. Yeah, Thank me you. too. Thank yeah. you very much. All right. Um, I see there's a discussion of peer review regulations. I re read. To yes. Are we going to do that today? Or? Uh, if you'd like, I think we passed it out last time. It was in your packet again. Yeah. This yeah. meeting, if you've had a chance to review, happy the to The account? It. You mean about the special account, Correct. right? Yeah. Happy to well, there's Well, there's already a law for that on the books, right? Yeah. So essentially what this would be is the Conservation Commission adopting uh, chapter or section 53G of chapter 44. So you have to formally adopt in order to yeah. use Now, in the past, we, I thought we already had the power to, to you know, hire uh, outside uh, experts. As far as I could tell, uh, we did the same uh, thing with the planning board already this year. So it seems like well, if the applicant had been amenable to it, you could request peer review. Um, with this in place, the board or commissions, regardless of if the applicant chooses to do so, could Fact, well, did our bylaw, in fact, does our bylaw make reference to the uh, hiring outside? You couldn't find it in, in any of the bylaws. You couldn't find it anywhere? So we didn't believe it existed, so All right. if, if it happened to inadvertently get deleted at some point, we figured at least this way we'll be covered for the future. It's a separate document on file with the clerk. So. All right. Does this have to go to town meeting? It does not. No. It just needs to be adopted by you all, and it can be updated or amended at any public meeting. All right. Um, so you all know what this is about, right? I'm More gathering that it gives us the authority to request uh, a second opinion? Correct. So um, if there was an extremely large project that came in, and, you know, the staff here only has a certain capacity to review this stuff. So if there was something of uh, a sensitive nature or a specific size that you felt that needed to be reviewed by an outside consultant, this would allow us to do that. Beyond the review, does it, uh, does it allow to have somebody on site during the course of a project, a sensitive project? Uh, not as far as I know. If this is le legitimately just for the permitting stage, it wouldn't be for a uh, clerk of the works or anything like that. Yeah. That could be a special condition of an order, you know, yeah. if, if you yeah, wanted that. Could. But yeah. But not and part of this. Not part right. of this. And there, this is a, there's a fund for, this is the creation of that fund. This would essentially allow it's funded by the applicant. It's funded by the applicant. Yeah, it's so the applicant, the applicant so submits a check. We yeah. take it, um, put it in a separate municipal account, and then spend off of that as necessary. My understanding is they would get back what wasn't used. Correct. Or, right? Yep. Yeah. If there's nothing, if you know, only be, you only use 50%, they'll get the 50% back, and that's it. So is it funded as a fee, uh, an additional fee? Uh, how will that structure? It's not an additional fee. So essentially, if you vote. Um, that peer review is necessary, the applicant will be notified, I believe it's within 10 days, and then they'll have to deposit a check with the clerk. Yeah, I read that. Yeah, and that, that's pretty much it, and to, to be drawn off of that. Who? Oh, sorry. I was going to say, generally the way I've done it in the past is a scope of services. We'll go out to a series of engineering firms, we'll get a cost estimate back, and that's how we determine. Yeah. That's what I was going to ask, is yeah. how do you determine the, cost? the amount that they'd have yeah. to make a deposit for? And if we need more, we can get more, can't we? The applicant is on the hook for more, if that's the case. Yeah. Um, Generally, with these things, because it's only a review of permitting, the costs are pretty, pretty much known mm -hmm. at the time. Is there a threshold of projects where this would apply a certain amount or a scope or there, anything, there or it could apply to any project we it's see? It's at the discretion of the commission. Yeah. Really. Yeah. 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 All right. Are we supposed to vote on this tonight? If everyone's comfortable with it, yeah, we were looking for a vote tonight. But yeah. Well. Or any amendments, if you have any. Does anyone feel they need more time to review this or would like to read it and put it over to the next meeting? No? It's, I think I would like to. Mm -hmm. like to study it some more? Yes, because I, I really haven't. I missed last 
Well, well, yeah, well, all right. I, I all think right. that we have at least one member would like to study sure. it some more. Mm -hmm. uh, do you have a, a do you have some language for when we vote on it? Or? Uh, I can prepare that if yeah, we're would not you? going to do it. Yeah, tonight, would you prepare some language just sure. uh, so that make sure that that our vote would be proper, you know, and that we cover everything? Mm -hmm. uh, and just to be clear too, so there's no misillusions. This may you may vote on this if you approve it and never use it. Yeah, you know, no. it's, ju it's just to have it on the sure. books so we're covered, really. Right. Yeah. Okay. But, all right. We'll so we're, we're going to address this, I think this at one, our we next. We had one instance where this would have been helpful. Yeah. Yeah. Well, we'll we'll address this at our next scheduled meeting, which is Alicia. When is that? On the twenty twenty fifth. Yeah. All right. Um, the other thing is minutes. I read the minutes. The only thing I noticed, and I think it was in the Mead Street project, when um, was it uh, Bill Manuel was talking about methodology, and I think the word in there says mythology. mythology. Ah. So I think you <laughs> want to do it. Check that one. <laughs> uh, anything else on the? Um, Anyone want to comment on the minutes? Well, the only question, Dr. question, um, for the June 13th, I wasn't here, but I watched on uh, the DCAT app there. Yeah. And I just want to confirm, was, was it a very short meeting? Because it, it kind of yeah. went. Yeah, that was, was like that very one. quick. It was yeah, it was. For, for uh, mm -hmm. the Holly Hill now, whatever that, that's called. Um, Holly Hill. The uh, new, the new development. development. Yeah, the uh, Flocus. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Which, right, all right, so I, all right, so I, I watched the whole. Yeah. Uh, meeting then. Yeah. I so I thought you were missing something. <laughs> well, it, just, it. Yeah, it went to not blank, but you know, when it goes to all different colors. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Yeah. And, and you read the minutes. I had breezed through the minutes. Yeah. All right. So there's someone. Can we approve? Should we approve them separately then, or in back? You should approve them. Let's separately. do them one at a time. Uh, does someone want to make a motion as for the May 23rd, 2019 minutes? I'll make a motion to approve the May uh, 23rd, 2019. Minutes. Motion to be made. We have a second. Second. All in favor. Aye. Aye. Okay. Uh, you, um, yeah, you, I probably shouldn't motion. You're not going to motion on the June 13th. Does someone want to make a motion? Yeah, I'll make a motion. On the June 13th. I'll minute? make a motion we approve the minutes from the June 13th, 2019 meeting. Motion's made. Second. All second. All in favor. Aye. Aye. Okay. And uh, and then finally on the June 27th, does someone want to make a motion? on the June 27, 2019 minutes. I'll make a motion to approve the minutes for June 27, uh, 2019. Motion's been made. We have a second. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Okay. Um, does someone want to make a motion? Uh, do we have any old or new business to discuss? If not, I just uh, I have one quick one, question. Just out of curiosity, um, was an appeal filed for the IRA Subaru? Uh, Yes and no. Uh, the, up <laughs> the update on that was we received uh, two letters from two different individuals, uh, seemingly addressed to the Conservation Commission, but possibly addressed to the Planning Board appealing the project. Uh, that being said, I'm not sure. A if formal they appeal where they? No, it no. was it's simply a letter. So I'm not sure oh. if they've officially filed anything with DEP, which would be the formal process. Okay. Yeah. Uh, we're trying to follow. I did get a call from the attorney's office. Okay. It was uh, Law Clark who was um, asking how to file an appeal. But did, I asked if there was a specific address and they didn't divulge it. Oh. Hmm. So. Okay. So okay. wait and potentially, see. Potentially, yeah, I think it's a wait and see sort of. Is well, what's the deadline? Days, but there's, but yeah, there's a, there's a 60 days? No, it's short. I think it's 20 days from, oh, 20 days. Okay. from the notice. Yeah. So, so we'll see. So they're still in that time frame? Yeah. Okay. 20 days from the Two finding? Two weeks ago. From the, yeah, when the order was And if it's around. business yeah. days, we yeah. lost a few for the holiday and blah, blah, blah. I think it's 60 blah. days for the bylaw. Hmm. All right. Um, that, was a, that was another clarification that needed to be made. Is that it on that, on the new so bit, all the new business? Yeah, yeah. just yeah. curious on that, if it all right. was going to come back around. I well, I wanted to discuss about uh, so rotating the chairship, now whether we need to do that in open meeting or I can just it was adjourn and talk yeah. about it. So uh, really... No. Well, it would have to be done in an open meeting if you're going to make a motion to do it tonight. Um, if you need to discuss it further with a well, specific individual. Well, uh, we'll just dis well, we can discuss in an open meeting is that yeah, I've been can. sitting in a yeah. chair for a while and 
uh, and Peter's been sitting in vice chair. Actually, I was chair, I, then I was not chair, and then the, there have been chairs that haven't stayed that long. Okay. So now it, it seems like, and I reached a subject with Rich and, and with Chelsea about whether, uh, because I'd, I'd like to give someone else the opportunity. Sure. Uh, I did mention it to Chelsea and to Rick, and he said, well, run it by Peter because he's next in line. Typically, they rotate this, uh, like, uh, I, I would say annually. Uh, I know the planning board does that, mm -hmm. and it gives everybody a chance, you know, to, to, sit, a, to sit a chair and vice chair to step in. Uh, so a, uh, after I broached it with you, with Chelsea, she said, well, I think I'd be better, you'd be better for vice. Rick said, ask Peter, because, so I did actually mention it to Peter today. I hadn't seen him for a while. So he wants to think about it. So I'm just throwing that out now that um, I'm not looking to get off the board. I, I enjoy this, but uh, I think someone else should get a chance to be chair and vice chair. And usually it goes by seniority. So um, having said that, I just wanted to throw that out there for now. That's that's fine. Yeah. Uh, if if I reach out to Peter in the intervening time to see uh, what his thoughts are, yeah. um, is this something you think we should put on the agenda for next meeting? Yes, I'll, I'll, I'll have. Or do you need more time? With that? No, that's fine. <laughs> okay. Right. I mean, he's stepped in quite a few times, so it, it would. Right. No brain of him. Yeah. Just, <laughs> just give me the two weeks to, to consider it. All then. right. And, and you're probably worried about showing and being here enough times, so or what? No, I think I should be okay with that. Just consider it. I just don't uh, have I'm your not going to be at the next meeting. Oh, yeah, right. You're not here at the next meeting. Okay. The 25th. All right. On. So, does someone want to make a motion to adjourn? I make a motion we adjourn. Second. I'll second. All in favor. Aye. 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 Thanks, Anthony.